dum dee dum 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 this year's corral. I'm gonna sign up. Corral? Cool. Sign me up, too. I'm scared. Don't worry. We're perfectly safe. What could happen? <laughs> wow. The open slots are really limited this year. What if we both don't get in? Don't think like that. You'll get in. Don't you mean we'll get in? Well, yes. But I'm more worried about you. Oh, really? Don't do me any favors, Chloe. I've got just as much of a shot as you do. Well, yeah, in theory. In theory? Sabrina, I've been taking singing lessons since I was six. And I was the lead in our sixth grade musical. Okay, okay. But you better not use magic to cheat. Please, like I need to. <laughs> Besides, I still need help with algebra. Even if I am going to whip your bony backside at auditions. Hmm. The coast is clear. Let's go. No. What are you going to do? Stay up here all night? Wake up call for 11, please. Just playing tic-tac-toe. Against yourself. And losing, thanks to you people. Yeesh! Who copped a hairball into his litter box? Hey, everybody. Guess who's going to be singing in a corral? Great! Another tie! Thanks a lot, Sabrina. Salem, what's really bugging you? Talk or I'll zap it out of you. <sighs> if you must know, I just got a Magifax. Hephaestus is coming to visit today. Have a who? Hephaestus. He was my best friend in wizard school. Reunion. That's cool. Cool? Are you kidding? I can't let him see I was turned into a cat by the witch's council. Why not? He's your best friend. You want to know why not? You wouldn't ask that if you knew my history with Hephaestus. This is back in the 12th century, long before the witch's council turned me into a cat. Hephaestus and I would compete at everything. Who could eat the most? Who could attract the cutest girls? Our favorite contest, though, was racing carpets. Behold the marble of Stonehenge! Ah! You're too slow, pal. <laughs> Dream on, victim. Behold my grand creation, the straight tower of Pisa. Behold the mighty Eiffel building! You'll pay for that. Nope, you'll pay for that, pal of mine. I won, and you know what that means. You're my servant for the next 50 years. Double or nothing, loser. Oh, you're on. Anyway, now you know why I've avoided Hephaestus all these years. Actually, no, I don't. Need I draw you a picture, Quiggles? Hef is still in human form, and he's still got all his magical powers. So? So, if Hef saw me like this, it'd mean after all these years he'd finally have something on me, and he'd be so smug about it. I see his point. Sometimes friends get big egos about things like, oh, like singing, to pick an example out of the air. Of course, sometimes friends are totally unrealistic about their limitations. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Thank you, girls, for that insightful and completely unrelated tangent. Now can we please get back to the important issues, namely mine? Not much to get back to. Tell your friend the truth. The truth? Please, does anyone have a good idea? Anyone? Don't look at us. We're already in enough trouble with the witches' council. Sorry, Salem. Sabrina, you gotta help me cast a spell. Can't you do it yourself? No thumbs. I'm busy, Salem. I've got a mountain of homework, and I've got to practice my singing for tomorrow. I got some extra time, though. You see, I really don't need all the practice Sabrina does. If I weren't such a nice person, I just might be tempted to knock you flat for that. <laughs> I've heard you sing. You're the expert on flat. Okay, guys, break it up for the sake of all that's holy. Help me, Sabrina! Stop it! That tickles, Salem! Okay, what do you want me to do? Thanks! I knew that I could con convince you. <laughs> Are you familiar with the term golem? Golem is a sort of magical robot. It's made out of clay, so you can adjust the features to look like whoever you want. It's hollow, so I can operate it from the inside. All right, let me see. I'll need some clay to get me started. <gasps> How about this? Close enough. Now I need some Dragon's Bane extract, whatever that is. Dragon's Bane? Are you kidding? One tablespoon a day keeps my coat nice and glossy. <laughs> Dragon's Bane, vase of clay, become a golem and save the day! He looks exactly like me. Are you sure? He looks like Fabio to me. No, he doesn't. Salem, he's a dead ringer. So? What's Fabio got that I don't? Charm, poise, rippling pectoral muscles. It was a rhetorical question. Do you think you'll be able to operate it, Salem? Don't insult me. I commanded an entire golem squadron back in the Second Netherworld War. Trust me, this little kitty knows his way around a golem. Okay, but be careful. Come on, Chloe. You could chip a tooth on one of those biceps. Chloe, he's not real. A girl can dream, can't she? Here goes nothing. I really hope that pole wasn't holding up anything important, like the roof. It sounds like Salem could use some driving lessons. Yeah, and you could use some singing lessons. Hey, I'm getting pretty tired of your little dick. I mean, at least I don't sing through my nose like some people. Oh, yeah? Well, at least I don't go off pitch when I get nervous. Really? Are you forgetting who won first place in the solo and ensemble festival? I'll give you a hint. It wasn't you. That day. Wasn't that convenient? Oh, that does it. I'm out of here. Fine with me, and may the best girl win. Thank you, I will. Go off pitch. I'll show her. Ah! First, I better help Salem before he destroys the house. Uh, hi. Are you Hephaestus? I have that honor. I am indeed the astounding, enchanting, extraordinary, yet disarmingly humble wizard Hephaestus. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must consort with one of my fellow wizards on matters of great import. Wow. And I thought Sabrina had a big ego. He's here, Salem. Are you ready? Everything's under control. Let him in. Good afternoon. I'm looking for a wizard by the name of Salem. Come on in. I'm Sabrina, and you must be Hephaestus. <sighs> As usual, my fame precedes me. Salem should be out any second. I said he'll be out any second! So, Mr. Hephaestus, you and Salem grew up together? That's right, and I'm very anxious to see him again. Where is he? Uh, that's a good question. Is something wrong? Wrong? What could be wrong? No! No! Uh -oh. Lie after all. 
Quigley, what am I gonna do? Hephaestus is here and I'm... A mangy cat? I think cat would have been sufficient. Just tell him the truth, Salem. It's always the best way. What say we label that plan B, okay? He's going to know the truth anyway as soon as he sees you. You're right, Quig. I'll have to come clean. Oh, it's too bad. What a great acting challenge that would have been for some lucky artist. What uh, challenge? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? Something about a lucky artist? Oh, just a whim of a vagary of a notion. No, I, I could never find an actor with the skill to pull it off. Actor? Excuse me! You happen to be talking to the assistant treasurer of the Gilbert and Sullivan Booster Society, Greendale Chapter. Goodness, that's right. You are an actor. I'd almost forgotten. But do you think even a great actor like yourself could pull off the role of a wizard? Of course I could, Salem. I was born to play this part. Congratulations. You're going to play the role of a lifetime. Me? I got the part. I can't believe it. It's true. Now let's go. Don't I get a script? No, it's all ad lib. Don't worry, I'll be right there with you. I'll pretend I'm your familiar. My what? Familiar. It's like an assistant. Now let's go. <laughs> Shouldn't I have a hat or something? Just go! My first role in years, and I have no script and no wardrobe. Ah, oh, well, the show must go on. <sighs> Actors. Hello, old pal. It is I, your bosom chum, Salem. And this is my, uh, my... Cat? No, the word is on the tip of my tongue. It's very familiar. Oh, that's it. This is my familiar, Quigley. Salem, old friend, you look so different. Well, I try to eat right, get lots of exercise. Okay, you said hello, now say goodbye. Is something wrong with your familiar? Oh, you know how it is. One simply can't get good help these days, can one? <laughs> get good help, that is. <laughs> Great. I've created Frankenham. Anyway, I'd love to catch up. If you have some free time, I'd be honored if you'd show me around your quaint little village. No! Sounds great, old friend. <laughs> Good. Perhaps you should zap us around since we're on your home turf. Unless you're still having problems with your basic spells. Sabrina, I remember the time Salem stared into his crystal ball for an hour before he figured out I had switched it with his bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to stand there and let him insult us like that? He's not insulting me. He's insulting you. Got a little more acreage in the old backyard these days, huh, Salem? What was that? Nothing. I've tried to keep myself fit over the centuries, that's all. You look like you've, uh, <laughs> slowed down. Who is that, Sue? Well, I bet I could still beat you in a race with both hands stapled to a manhole cover. Oh, yeah? Then let's race. The usual stakes? Sure. Great! Loser becomes the servant of the winner for the next 50 years. Quigley, I mean, Salem, you don't really want to do this. Oh, yes, I do. Fine. The race is tomorrow at high noon. Oh, by the way, I don't have my flying carpet with me, so I'll need to borrow one of yours. Uh, what? How exactly do you plan on racing him tomorrow? Or are you planning on being his servant for the next 50 years? Whoa! I lost my head. I got competitive and I lost my head. Why did I listen to you? Oh, we've got to come clean and tell Hephaestus the truth. No way! My lie was nice, simple, and would have worked. You're the dim bulb who challenged Hef to a race. You're not punking out now. Well, I made the challenge. I suppose I do have a moral obligation to race him. Yeah, huh? And you're gonna beat him. Sabrina, can you whip up a couple of magic carpets? Sure. Make ours strong, since there will be two of us on it. Two? Right. Either you fly with me or we tell the fastest the truth, like I said in the first place. Okay, okay. I'll make the carpets for you, but you're on your own for the race. I've got corral additions tomorrow. Persian rugs, get off the floor. The time has come for you to soar. Silly wizards will be your master. Help make Uncle Quigley faster. Beautiful dreamer out on the sea. Mermaids are chanting the wild laurel leaf. Over the streamlet, they 
papers are born Waiting to fade at the bright coming morn How'd it go? Fine. <sighs> are you ready, Sabrina? I guess so. <coughs> On the sea, mermaids are chanting the wild lorely. Over the streamlet, vapors are born, waiting to fade at the bright coming morn. Very good, Sabrina, but you need to work on your pitch. <sighs> anyway, I'll post the results on the bulletin board as soon as the auditions are complete. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jensen. That was so embarrassing. I wish I could talk to Chloe about it. Oh well, I can always talk to my family. <laughs> Maybe now's not the best time. What the heck is going on? Carpets are built to go faster than 40 miles an hour. Salem is pushing them too hard. Oh, no! We're trying to warn them, but they won't slow down. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, that's it. We're walking. Salem, your carpet is unraveling. So is yours. Well, slow down. No, you slow down. You first. To blazes with both of you. Carpet, slow down. Carpet, stop. Whoa, carpet. Why won't the carpet obey me? Duh. These are Persian rugs. They don't understand English commands. Well, what's Persian for stop? I have no idea. We've got to do something. I know, but what? Stop, Carpet, stop! No! Help! Help! We're safe now. Hef can use his magic to save us. Go on, Hef. Zap up a giant pillow or something. I can't. It's Salem's rug. Let him slow it down. I'm not Salem. What? He is. Wait a minute. You're Salem? All right, all right. Here's the truth. Finally! See, the Witch's Council turned me into a cat to punish me for... <laughs> well, it's a long story. The point is, you have to use your magic to save us. I am truly shocked. A once mighty wizard turned into a mangy cat? I think cat would have been sufficient. Even I never imagined you would fall so low. Look, are you gonna save us or not? Well, shucks, your friend's hat seems to have fallen off. I smell a rat. Make that a mouse. Who are you? I'm Hephaestus. Hey, you think you're the only one who had problems with the Witch's Council? What? You lied to me? I couldn't let you see me like this. You would have been so smug. Really? You thought that? Jeez, Hef. I'm sorry. Me too, pal. I hate to break up this freakish little love fest, but are you telling me that neither one of you has the power to get us down? Afraid not. not. What do we do now? Help! We've got to catch them somehow. But we can't go any faster. Wait, I think they're slowing down. If they can just hold on a little longer. Oh! Oh! oh, come on. Sure don't make flying carpets like they used to. I hope you two learned something today. I know I did. Now shake hands and make up. We were so busy competing that we lost sight of being friends. And we wasted five or six centuries avoiding each other. It's not going to happen again. Good. Now I have to try and straighten things out with my best friend. Of course, there's one tiny, any little detail you've overlooked, my dear bosom chum. What's that? I happen to be the predator, and you, mon frere, are the predity. 
<laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I never met the cat yet who could beat me in the 50-yard dash. <laughs> You're on! Some folks never learn. Chloe, I'm glad you're here. There's something I have to tell you. I have something to tell you, too. Can I go first? Okay. Okay. I just want to say that you're my best friend and that friends should never let some silly competition come between them. I'm sorry. Now, what did you want to say? We made it! What? The corral we got in! We did? Both of us? Yeah, both of us! Woohoo! Ultimate coolness! I know. And it's twice as cool since we're not fighting anymore. Right! Let's go celebrate! You know, people can learn a lot from us ants about working with each other instead of against each other. That's true. They could learn something else, too. What's that? How to really sell a song. Beautiful dreamer, wake unto me. Starlight, Starlight and dewdrops are waiting for thee. thee. What? Was I off pitch? Uh... <laughs> 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 <laughs>